With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. A proton and an alpha particle are accelerated through the same potential difference. Then the ratio of the de Broglie wavelength of proton and the alpha particle is. So uh, here uh, they are asking you to find out the ratio of the de Broglie wavelength of the proton and an alpha particle. They are saying that they are accelerated to the same potential difference. So for both Vp and V alpha is same. Okay, Both are equal you can say Vp will be equal to V alpha you can say. So now with this is the condition you have to find out the de Broglie wavelength. So de Broglie wavelength the general equation for de Broglie wavelength we know it is lambda is equal to h by mv. Right? It, uh, mv is the momentum of the particle or you can write even this as h by p. Now we have to write this expression in terms of potential difference. right? So when you are right to write in terms of potential difference, first you have to write it in terms of energy. Then you will go with potential difference. So when you write in terms of energy, we know that P will be equal to root 2 mk where k is the kinetic energy. So lambda will be equal to h by root 2 mk. Now if uh, k is the kinetic energy, the kinetic energy can be written as q into the potential difference v and so lambda will be equal to h by root of 2 m q into v. This is the expression for de Broglie wavelength in terms of potential difference. Now we will apply this equation for both first for uh, alpha particle and second for proton. So when you are writing it for proton, see lambda p will be equal to h by root 2 mp q or you can say it as uh, uh, qp into v. Okay, same way when you are writing for alpha particle, lambda alpha is equal to h by root 2 m alpha q alpha into v. They are maintained at the same potential difference. No, so we shall write it as v only. Now for an alpha particle, if you are writing it for an alpha particle here, for alpha particle, you can say that uh, the charge for this particle will be equal to, that is q alpha will be equal to twice of qp and the mass of it m alpha will be equal to that will be four times of the mass of the proton because uh, he uh, alpha particles means it is 2 he4 right and this uh, proton is p one so you will write this relation m alpha will be 4 mp now when you substitute these two things here lambda alpha becomes h divided by root of 2 into m alpha will substitute as 4 mp q alpha will write it as 2 qp into v now these two we will divide one by the other so that you will get the ratio of the corresponding wavelengths and when you divide one by the other see here we will write this as lambda p by lambda alpha is equal to h by root 2 mpqp into v into root of see here uh, 416 mpqp into v divided by h so this when you further simplify it see all the variables gets constant tickets cancel you will be retained with lambda p by lambda alpha is equal to root 16 is what 4 4 divided by root 2 so 4 divided by root 2 you can write it as 2 root 2 correct so lambda p by lambda alpha will be equal to 2 root 2 so now when you see to the options uh, it is uh, 2 root 2 no you can write this as uh, 2 by root 2 or you can write it as uh, uh, 2 root 2 itself is the answer 2 root 2 is to 1 is the answer or according to the given choices See you have root 8 is to 1. So 2 root 2 can also be written as root 8 correct. So root 8 by 1 also you can write it. So among these option 4 is the right answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. 
Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.